Lots of angry emails and messages this week after DJI silently rolled out a new hard limit of 120 metres max altitude on all their C0 classified drones, including the Mini 4 Pro, Mini 5 Pro and the Neo 2. So super quick video today on why they've done it, why it matters and whether there's any way around it when flying in the mountains. I'm in and I play with drones and as said, here in the UK, we now have a hard limit of 120 metres imposed on all C0 models like the Neo 2, uh, Mini 5 Pro and Mini 4 Pro. Until last week when flying in the UK, the maximum altitude was selectable up to a maximum of 500 metres. But now when you go into the main settings, you'll see it's got a hard limit of 120 metres. So first off, uh, let's answer the basic question. If the legal height limit is only 120 metres anyway, why does this even matter? Well, it's useful to be able to increase the maximum altitude when you're flying in areas where the ground isn't flat. It's up in the mountains of the Lake District, taking off from a valley floor meant you would hit the 120 metre limit pretty quickly when flying up a mountainside. So again, you needed the flexibility to increase the maximum altitude. So, why have DJI done this? When the rules surrounding maximum altitude are pretty clear and based on the drone's height above the ground, not the height relative to the takeoff point, which is what the hard limit measures against. Well, it's actually down to the new drone rules that came into force in the UK at the beginning of this year. And specifically this part, allowing C0 classified drones to be flown in the UK in congested areas, including flights that flew right over uninvolved people. Until these new rules came in, the overflight rule in the UK was based purely on weight, meaning any drone under 250 grams could fly like this. But now it's including specific C0 labeled models. And if you look at the technical specifications legislated for C0 classified models, it specifically states that the 120 meter max altitude must be a hard limit. So because the UK CAA are now recognizing C0 classifications, any C0 model flown in the UK must actually abide by that C0 technical requirement. So as you can see, the new CAA rules really are the gift that just keeps on giving, as we now have this hard limit in place and no easy way around it. What's a bit frustrating is that the UK rules for flying are based, as I said, on the height of the drone above the ground, whilst the technical rules for a C0 model are based on the height relative to the takeoff point. And that is what's shown on the remote, and that is what's setting the limit. So, could you get around this by updating the home point using the update home point or dynamic home point function? Well, no, to be blunt. When you update the home point when in flight, the relative altitude is unaffected. So that will make no difference at all. In fact, to be honest, the only way I can actually see of getting around this if you're up in the mountains is by actually landing remotely and then taking off again, which to me would not be a smart move at all, given the chance that the ground you're landing on would not be good for landing and the props could get blocked, stopping you from taking off again. So for now, I don't really see a simple workaround for the C0 models. However, I do think there may be a little bit of solace for the larger C1 and C2 models as the technical requirements for these larger models is worded differently in the regulations, allowing for higher limits but with clear information being provided about the height above the surface versus the height above takeoff point. A subtle difference, but one that allows the larger models like the Air 3S and the Mavic 4 Pro to have the maximum altitude set higher. And you can see the pop-up information appearing as required. So in truth, it is annoying, but for now, it's only C0 models that are affected. The larger models are not subject to this same limit. Last week, when I was up in the Lake District, I was generally flying from the mountain summits rather than the valleys. And in that scenario, I was only going up a few tens of meters above the takeoff point anyway to get these fairly incredible views that I was more than happy with. One slight silver lining I take from all of this is how quickly DJI made this change to comply with the new rules. To me, this actually bodes well for a few other issues that are floating about. Uh, the new rules stipulate a green flashing light is required when flying at night. And currently, uh, certainly on the Mini 5 Pro, the lights turn out at night if you start recording. Now, I've reached out to DJI to see if they're working on an option to leave the lights on for the whole flight so people don't have to fit an add-on light, which is a lot of people are talking about.
But also you can see the functionality is in place to get your drone reclassified with a different classification. So I'm very much hoping we will see this option appearing for the Air 3 and the Air 3S very soon to get them classified or reclassified to a UK1 classification, which will then allow them to continue to be flown in congested areas after the temporary transition period is up at the end of the, uh, 2027. Uh, either way, DJI are clearly keeping a close eye on the country variations in rules, so hopefully they're going to be working on this one too. But look, I should add, this appeared out of nowhere without any update to my remotes. As far as I could tell, uh, whether it was pre-loaded in an update rolled out last year, uh, but programmed to only come to force this year, I don't know. But all my remotes have ended up with the same result, that these smaller drones are now hardlocked. And that's about it. So... That really is about it. As ever, look, air your thoughts below in the comments below. Don't hit the damn thumb button. That's just going to tell YouTube you don't like me or my videos. And I am merely the messenger today. Either way, I am heading up to Scotland next week. So I'll definitely be taking one of my larger drones, the Air 3S probably. Uh, it isn't restricted, so I'll be good for flying up in the mountains there. But look, either way, I hope you found this useful. And until next time, have fun. Happy flying.